Yes. Kumusta, mabuhay, magandang araw, and welcome back to MGN Diego. Ovo siyo vela, and today I am happy for two reasons. One, it's because it is cooler today in Montreal. Yes, it rained during the weekend and it brought some fresh air with it. So today I'm feeling good. Two, during the weekend, I reacted to a couple of videos and I was disappointed with both. It was one with KZ Tandingan on the X Factor singing in the end. That was not very good. And J3 singing Skostakli Zebiana. I was disappointed with that as well. So it kind of put me down a little bit. But today, today I'm happy. Yes, the second reason is because I will be reacting to Bugoy Drilon, one of the members of the Avengers of the Philippines, aka Budakel. Yes, baby. And in my opinion, he is the Spider Man of those Avengers, you know, because he's a little bit silly. So he fits the role. And, you know, I haven't been disappointed with uh, Bugoy ever, ever. Like vocally, technically, you know, he's he's on point all the time. I mean, yes, sometimes the, ch the, the songs he chooses are just not my style. But it has nothing to do with him, you know, it's just the song. But Bugoy himself, always on point. Today he will be singing Because of You. I think I know the song, but I'm not 100% sure. I have a melody in my head, but knowing Bugoy, he's probably not gonna sing the popular one. <laughs> I don't know why. He is a very R&B oriented guy. Um, yeah, and before we start, I want to thank my dear patrons for their support because without them, I wouldn't be able to continue to do this as my main job. So thank you guys. Thank you. You guys are the best. All right. Uh, before we start, please consider following me on Instagram at Music Game News. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Mango Room Studio. I love the name. I love the name of the studio because mangoes are delicious. Especially Filipino mangoes. Mm. I actually ate a couple of them last week. Hey, hey. He is wearing my color. You know, mustard. Big fan. I love it. He is looking fly. The, the 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 snaps sound very far man they put a lot of reverb on them a little bit too far if ever you wonder if you touch my soul yes you do oh. hey his ba own backup vocals nice Yeah, that snap is too far. I don't think they, they, they needed to put that much uh, reverb on that snap, you know? It could have been more raw in the middle. Guys, what do you think? Do you think they put a little bit too much reverb on his main vocal? You know, the the, pre, the 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 main vocal, the one that's supposed to be in the middle. I feel like they put a little bit too much reverb on it. I'm not familiar with this song. I love that instrument. <laughs> the 
The lyrics are sweet and positive. Beautiful lyrics, you know, it's very uplifting. See what I mean? There isn't like a huge difference between the main vocal and the backup vocals. You know, the contrast is very small and I want the contrast to be a little bigger. That's why I'm saying that the main vocal needs to have less reverb. You make all my dreams come yes. Oh my God, he is killing it. Like I said, you know, I mean, yes, this was recorded in a professional studio, probably in this studio, the Mango Studio. Shout out to you guys because the video quality is awesome. The audio quality is awesome. The studio looks fly. I mean, look at that. Look at all that acoustic foam that matches everything around thanks to those lights, you know, the the, 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 the pink lights that is transitioning into purple light. Beautiful. I love it. I love the design. Good job. Wow. I love it. I love it. He went down the stairs with his falsetto. Beautiful. You know, he's reminding me a little bit of Usher, just a hint of Usher. Yo, this song is so lovey-dovey, bruh. It's uh, like a huge compliment to the person you are singing, singing it to, you know? Like in this case, he's probably singing it to a woman that he loves, you know? Huge, like you sing it to that woman, she's gonna be so happy and fall in love with you, like on, on the spot, bruh. You hear that? That's the it's the inclusion of the uh, hi hats. You know, very close hi hats like that that makes the sound sound a little bit more modern. You know, like a hint of modern thanks to those hi hats. Because of you, boom. My See, I wonder if the symbols, because I think they did include symbols there, right? The spush, but I think they should have been a little bit higher. I could barely hear them and feel them, you know? You need to feel the symbols to feel the, the transition there, you know, the explosion. I love the telephone effect. I like it as a conclusion. Very nice. Wow, see here the blend is perfect between his backup vocals with that reverb and the uh, telephone effect on his main vocal. The blend is so smooth, you know? Mmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah, grabe, guys. 
Um, I want to say congrats not just to Bugoy but to the team behind the thing, you know, to the studio, the, the people who mixed it. Like I really enjoyed the mixing except for the main vocal, I think it should have had less reverb. Oh wait, there are a few other things. The snap, the snap also was too far, it just felt too far. And what else, what else? Yeah, the cymbals, maybe increase the volume of the cymbals just a little bit so that we can feel it, you know, when they come in just to feel that explosion. But other than that, really, it's a great job. And I feel like it's a reimagining maybe of a 90s R&B song because the vibe felt very 90s, but there were a few uh, modern hints in it, you know? So they tried to modernize like an old school R&B song. I'm not familiar with the song, so let me know in the comment section below uh, the name of the original singer and which era it was recorded in, you know, but I have a feeling it was in the 90s. It feels very 90s, maybe early 2000s. I'm not sure. Uh, and I say maybe early 2000s because it felt a little bit like Usher, just a little bit. So there you go, guys. Uh, I had a lot of fun watching this. Uh, you know, Bugoy just never disappoints me technically. So I'm very happy. Yes, and he had some crazy runs in there. It's like you guys keep talking about Daryl Ong and Jason D as, the, you know, the, the guys that know how to do runs. But bruh, I can do it as well. Check it out. I can do riffs. I can do runs. And here they are. Yes, my God, Bugoy, you can definitely run with the best of them. Bruh. Um, okay, okay, so let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po. Of course, thank you so much for joining me. It means the world to me. Stay safe. Uh, let me know how the situation has evolved in uh, the Philippines. Can you guys leave now? Are you still confined all the time or are there more flexible rules uh, in place now? Because I have noticed that more people uh, are uh, recording professionally now, which means that you are indeed allowed to leave the house. So tell me, update me on what's happening in the Philippines. Um, yeah, so take care of yourselves, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one as usual. Peace. Thank you for watching, subscribe here, and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work, and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.